ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. I have a question for you about freaks. I want to know how are the following items related? Beef cows, milk cows, apples, oranges, corn, grain, barley, wheat. All those, put them together, add one, scientists. How are those related? All those first are agricultural products and scientists are there. How are they all related? Well, the similarity between the agricultural products will probably be known to many of you. First of all, uh, in nature you never find an apple, do you? Except in the Garden of Eden. Other than that, all you find are little teeny berries and, and little, little teeny tiny things because nature would never produce something so massive and gargantuan, wasteful as an apple with all that meat to just be eaten by an animal. It would produce like a, a, a small thing packed with seeds so that the deer or whatever would eat it and distribute the seeds. That's what it would produce, not a gargantuan hunk of, of meat and sugar with just a few seeds in the center. No, it wouldn't produce that. Uh, humans picked their favorite out of the ancient orchards for hundreds of years or thousands in some cases. Same is true of cows, corn, grain, oranges, and the same is not necessarily true of scientists because we don't have a race of scientists we have in the fields of corn and grain and then this field of scientists over here which we watch her a certain way and we keep certain pests off of it and stuff. We don't have a field of scientists over there. Given that consideration, in what way are scientists similar to corn, grain, apples, beef, cows? Well, name a natural, natural fruit or vegetable. Name something natural and you'll see it's very small. What in the realm of scientists would be more towards natural? unmodified, unhumanized, unrationalized, just natural. Name a natural scientist. Well, probably a medicine man or a shaman. Scientists can only happen within the strictures of a curriculum or a culture. Actually, the curriculum can only happen within the culture. That's an important point that could be made at length, but not here. And a scientist can only happen within the strictures of the curriculum and culture uh, that emphasizes the values originated in Greek culture, expounded upon in the Renaissance, and that have been dominant since then. Unfortunately, they've been under attack for over a century. It is my job as well as yours to see that we preserve the conditions that will allow the human race to be fed, as it were. We have to preserve the conditions that allow the fields and the orchards to continue to produce the massive, retarded, freakish fruits vegetables, grains, sheep, pigs, and uh, other commodities on which our culture uh, and civilization depends. And certainly not least of all, we have to find out what is the nature of the field in which, what is the nature of the fertilizer we put on, and what is the nature of the water we irrigate this field with, in which rational people grow. Where do rational people come from, ladies and gentlemen? Where do apples, oranges, cows, pigs, goats, grain, fruits, scientists, and rational people come from? How are they similar? They are similar because they are the product of a highly, highly purposeful course of human action. And that is the nature of a curriculum in a school a highly purposeful course of action. That is how we produce rational people, scientists, 
are a subset of rational people. So, uh, I think at that point I can rest my case.